In this video, we're going to learn how to round decimal numbers to a given number of decimal places. A decimal place is the position of a digit to the right of the decimal point. <clears throat> the first decimal place is the tenths, the second is the hundredths, and so on. So, in these examples, if I want to underline the first decimal place, what I need to do is underline the first digit after the decimal, after the decimal point. So in the first question, that's going to be 7. In the second, it's going to be 0. The third, it's going to be 6. And the fourth one, it will be 0 again. If I want to underline the second decimal place in each of these numbers, I'm going to look at the digit, which is two places to the right of the decimal point. In the first question, that's going to be 8. The second question, 0. In the third question, there isn't actually a second decimal place. I would have to write 0 in and underline it. In the last one, it would be 3. When rounding to a given number of decimal places, our method is to underline the appropriate decimal place, draw a dotted line exactly to the right of that, and then to round up or round down as we have seen. In the examples, we're going to round to the number of decimal places which, are, which is specified. In the first question, I want to round to one decimal place, or 1DP as we abbreviate it. The first decimal place is 5, so I underline the 5. I draw a dotted line after the 5. The number just to the right of the dotted line is 3. And remember from, last, from the last video, if we have 5 or more, we round up. Otherwise, we round down. So our answer is simply 26.5. because the 3 tells us to round down. In the second example, I have 45.389. I want to round to two decimal places. So I underline the second number after the decimal point, which is 8. I draw a dotted line. The number after the dotted line is 9, which is greater than 4. So that tells me to round the 8 up. So I have an answer of 45.39. In the third example, I want to round to three decimal places. The third digit after the decimal point is five. Doesn't matter that the first two decimal places are zero. I, or the number, numbers in the first two decimal places are zero, it doesn't matter. I underline the five, I draw a dotted line. The number immediately after the dotted line is six, which tells me to round up. So I have zero point. Zero, zero, 006 as my answer, 5 rounding up to 6. Um, in the next question, I want to round to one decimal place. So I underline the first number after the decimal point, which is 9. I draw a dotted line, and I have an 8 immediately after the dotted line, which tells me to round up. Now, if I have 9 tenths, and I add on another tenth, which is what I'm doing when I round up, that's going to give me one unit. So you might think that the final answer would just be one. But because we're rounding to one decimal place, we need to give our answer as 1.0, because that tells the person who might be checking your answer that you have indeed rounded to one decimal place. In the second, in the final example, sorry, I'm going to round to two decimal places. So I underline the nine, which is in the second decimal place. I draw a dotted line. The number immediately after the dotted line is 7, which tells me to round up. Um, so that will round the 9 in the hundredths column up to 10 hundredths, which is 1 tenth. And then that will round the 9 in the tenths column up to 1 unit. So again, you might think the answer is just 1. But because we're rounding the two decimal places, I need to give my answer as 1.00.
Here are some questions for you to try. Please have a go at the questions, pause the video, and then when you're ready for the answer, press play. Here are the answers. One thing that's really important to note here is that in question D, we want to round to one decimal place, so I would underline the nine, which is in the uh, which is the number, the first number after the decimal point. Um, I would draw a dotted line. The seven would tell me to round the nine up, giving me an answer of seventy-nine. But because I want to round to one decimal place, I need to give my answer a seventy-nine point zero. Similarly, for question D of the second set of questions. I need to give my answer as 285.00 to show that I have rounded to two decimal places.